All right, guys. Uh, I don't know if I've ever uh, you know done a video or anything like this before. Uh, kind of about how or what I do with uh, our little three-pound Pomeranian. Um, she's a hairy little thing. That's for da that's for dang sure. Um, so she requires a lot of brushing, a lot of stuff like that. And I don't. We don't like doing the whole um, short, stubby kind of the famous Pomeranian looks. We like to let her hair grow out, and uh, we like that. So anyway, here's a couple of little tools that we use. Um, that I find really helpful. Obviously, she's a Pomeranian, so she mats uh, a lot, um, you know, and she's got a lot of, uh, you know, the neck problems, uh, you know, front and back, um, and then and just the rest of her body. She's got two different coats, obviously a deeper, uh, a deeper one and a, and a top one uh, in layman terms. Um, so it's 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 a little more challenging to keep, uh, you know, you don't just want to brush her with uh, with one of these slicker brushes. Obviously, you can see that they're. They're angled straight and then they, go, they angle in. So a lot of times you want to get in and then pull out uh, rather than just straight pull, uh, pulling along. Obviously you can once you get going and, and get a nice uh, smooth um, pull through it. But obviously you're going to get stuck a lot. So you kind of just dig it in and, I, and I, I'm, that's why these little have these little uh, hooks, crooks in there, I guess, with little bends. So you put it in the hair, push it a little bit, and then you kind of pull it out. Um, <coughs> excuse me, guys. So uh, this is this kind of step one. You can do your research out there and pick what kind of brushes you have. But um, another one that I liked, we, we just uh, started getting was this uh, D-Matter. And uh, I paid 10 bucks for this one. Again, another Amazon deal of the day. Uh, typically about 15 bucks, I think. Uh, they range in prices, but you can see it's got um, the same style hooks on both sides. But the difference here is obviously you can see you've got um, double this on this side and half on this side. Um, obviously, getting going you'd want to get into this uh the short one first uh yeah just because there's not as many hooks to grab onto and uh just kind of pull through a little bit uh, a little bit at a time and then uh, obviously if you get a nice good motion through it then you can go to the other side and start working it again on the uh the closer ones obviously you can, cut, you can see some hair still stuck in there um and the one thing about these though is you can see kind of from this angle if i can get it clear enough you can see it's kind of a kind of a razor blade style um, you know, they've sharpened it right here at the tip of my finger. Uh, we'll kind of show you guys on one of these. Um, that helps, uh, you can kind of see the little shaved part. Um, that's to help cut that hair out. So when you hit that mat and you kind of hopefully kind of just cutting it like a letter opener or a razor blade and just kind of ripping it through, um, that helps uh, demat her uh, bottom coat. And this is a new, newer purchase. Um, we've just been having a lot of problems. Um, so this is one of the new things that I've picked up and learned. Um, to help uh, that bottom coat really uh, get cleaned up and, and keep her better health, uh, you know, not have any skin irritation, anything like that. So uh, that's one. And of course we have the good old Ferminator. This one obviously, uh, you know, uses some pretty sharp razors. Um, it gets in there. This one is obviously a small version uh, cause she's so small, but uh, they call this the Ferminator long hair. So you're gonna just kind of, I just scrape the surface on it. And uh, what it's doing is actually basically just shaving uh, that hair so anything that gets a little uh, uneven this kind of helps uh, straighten it out and i don't know if you can see in there uh see that straight darker part is i'm, I'm assuming what basically gets the cut or the razor blade part and uh, obviously when it gets on there you can push this uh, gray handle down and you can see that slide up forward so obviously it's using that uh actually what you guys saw in the back was just uh that gray spot. So basically, but uh, you know, when it's getting in here, it's actually like cutting those hairs and, and, and kind of shaving them down. Um, so yeah, uh, another great product. These are a little bit more pricey, 20, 30 bucks maybe for the yeah, small one. <coughs> Sorry guys, I've been dealing with the cold. So <clears throat> yeah, anyway, uh, these are kind of, I call these the three steps that I use. Obviously use the slicker brush to uh, get her uh, her easy uh, knots and and uh, just a nice pull through her hair before I get into the the more hardcore stuff. Now this pulls quite uh, pretty well actually. So these when you want to be careful with um, and not go not go ham too hard in it because um, it it would uh, would hurt. Obviously they they don't enjoy that. And uh, the biggest one is obviously her tail. She's a pomeranian, so we try to use a little bit of this one. And then um, you know I do cut my, her hair on you know. Our, we do it ourselves so um 
the one thing about that is, you know, we can just kind of shave her tail down, but this, this somewhat works on her tail, um, but it's just such a crazy mess that uh, it's kind of hard. But anyway, um, just, just a couple tools that I've done a little bit of research on and uh, really help us out if you want to, uh, whether you want to groom your dog yourself, um, obviously there's uh, better, you know, more professional style tools out there or even uh, different varieties of these uh, brushes, but, um, you know, at least this is good between between grooming times, so you can actually uh, keep up with it yourself. Um, that way, she, you know, he or she doesn't go in and and is too crazy right from the get go. But uh, the one thing that I will say, the Furminators make a hell of a uh, handle. It's uh, pretty well balanced. And I noticed the new thing that they did. I I bought these this one just like it is, but I know now they sell the handle and then they sell attachments, uh, which is a great. That was absolutely a a great. Uh, product strategy for their part uh, so you can actually buy and put together what you rent rather than being just stuck with the one piece of equipment uh, so that's that's really cool and I think it would help you save because the handles you could tell they put a lot of a lot of research into these handles uh, they're just well balanced and, and quite heavy so um, Ferminator is a really good one uh, slicker brush obviously uh, you can pick up anywhere and a dematter as well but uh, anyway hope you guys like that video um, but like I said the biggest thing is just to keep up with your dog's hair before uh, before or after in between uh, it's grooming visits but uh, hope you guys like that video hope it helps you if you got any uh, comments let me know down below but as always feel free to comment like subscribe most importantly uh, subscribe you know we're doing a video a day for a year showing you guys the YouTube process and that's the, that's the hard part is re reaching these new YouTube requirements. So hope you guys like this video and uh, feel free to let me know what you guys think. See you guys.